you guys, welcome back. All right, I am gonna walk you through my process for how I make fonts using my iPad. Um, now I do sell these on my website. I don't sell them on Etsy, um, but I also uh, use them in my digital planning. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the app that I use is right here called iFont Maker. It is available on the App Store. It is a $7.99 one-time purchase. Um, I have not yet found a tablet free option. Um, there's been a few that I have tried that were just not very good. So I'm gonna just go out there and say, this is the one I recommend. It is again, $7.99, but it is worth it. Um, you can make as many fonts as you'd like. I have not run into a cap yet. And I've had this app since May of 2018. Now, just to address a couple of things ahead of time. Number one, um, this app does give you the option to publish these fonts online. Now, you can do that, and if you do that, then um, they become public. So anybody could be there, download them, but if you just build the font online, which I'll show you what that means later, you still retain all the rights to your font. Nobody owns it but you. There was a little confusion about that in one of the groups that I'm in a while back. And yes, I did look into it and no, the fonts you make, as long as you keep them um, to yourself and keep them private are yours. So, okay, you wanna go ahead and start by hitting new and it'll take you to here. So on this screen here, you can see you've got your baseline here and then you've got this yellow line coming here. Anything you write across this yellow vertical line won't show up on that glyph. So stay to this side of that yellow line. Um, the baseline you can go under because letters like G would go down there, but you don't wanna go past this descender line right here. And if you look close, I don't know if I can, yeah, I can't even really zoom to show you that, but it, you'll see it says descender, baseline, X height, cap height. So just stay above this line and stay to the right of that line and you're good. Um, over here, you have your different pen stroke styles. Now, there are differences between them. Um, here's your standard. Here's the one with the balls on the ends. So these are all your typical lines and you have just different shapes, styles. This is more of like a chisel tip. Um, I typically will stick with the top one, obviously do however you want to. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just gonna stick to the, to the main plain one. Um, and then here is your zoom function. Like if you go like this, tapping that will bring you back to home. Same, just like that. This is your uh, pencil. Uh, if you have something here, we'll do this. This will allow you to edit your path like this. Typically, you wouldn't really need to do this. Um, I'm just doing it just to show you. This one here gives you grid lines that you can make shapes from. Again, not something that I typically use, but it's there. This one is handy. If you make a letter that comes over a little, you can grab it and just slide it wherever you want it. You can scale it and then you can rotate it like that. So that's a pretty handy one. Um, and then this thing here will allow you to adjust your guides. This is something that you wanna start at the beginning before you even make your first glyph you wanna set your line. So say you want something that's gonna have um, like really low lower cases. Then you would pull this here. Low capitals, so forth and so on. You can adjust, and these lines are just guides. So these aren't gonna show up in your final. This is just as you're making letters, you're using these lines as guides. Um, you can adjust. Here's your ascending line and descending line. You cannot change those. If you go above it, it won't show. If you go below it, it won't show. Anything you do in the middle will show up. So here on this one, 
You have example, you have photo, and you have none. When you're creating fonts for yourself, just for you, maybe to share with some friends, use examples all you want to. You know, like I believe this is just the Arial font, which you can change right here. Uh, is that? Oh, Hel Helvetica font. So it's just giving you basically, here's an A, and you can trace over that A. Here's a B, trace over this B. So doing it this way will give you a feel for how to do it, but this is going to be someone else's work. You know, I, again, I get crap for this, but I don't care. I am very much a don't sell somebody else's work kind of a person. So again, if you're just practicing or just doing this to like share with friends or do for Instagram or whatever, fine, go nuts. You can even use custom fonts like this one to trace over. You know, I, it's, it is what it is, but again, don't try to sell something that you do like this. Okay, getting off my high horse. Now for me, photo would be if you um, like had a picture of a font, I typically keep it at none. So now I can go in here and adjust my cap height, lowercase height, and then I have turned off any examples. So what I make now is just gonna be me and how I make it. Um, if I were to say make a capital A, and you can always tell what letter you're on up here. I'm just on the capital A. Now say I'm like, uh, that's too, too skinny. I want it bigger. You can come to this percentage, raise this up, apply until you have it how you want it. Wow, that's big. Um, but uh, when you do this, like say you wanna do it to all of them, it's not something you can undo. Once you do it, it'll say, are you sure you can't undo this? So then you would just say, yes, I'm sure. So we'll take this up to 194 and see how it's coming across my lines. I'm gonna go to move and I'm gonna put it there. <laughs> And then let's keep going. I'll just make fat letters. We'll see how it works. Okay, so now that I have the letters all done, I'm gonna show you what the preview menu does. So if you go here, you can either type, so we'll just, so that's what it would look like. And then I'm gonna take the letter spacing down a little, word spacing up, see how you can adjust. And then you can also hit this thing and it'll show you what all of your letters are gonna look like. And I haven't done the numbers yet, so we're gonna have to wait on that one. See, pretty cool. So let's get these numbers out of the way. Once I get to this point where it's doing the punctuation, I will typically come over here and turn the example back on. I'm just gonna do this plain one, just so that I can see what symbol it wants. Um, so now it's an exclamation, oops.
Okay, so typically this is where I will stop. I will come down here to the web symbols and just do this one because I use this a lot on my website. But other than that, I will stop usually here. So now I can come over here and see all the numbers together. Letters, periods, things like that. So let's say, okay, great. I'm perfectly happy with this. What do I do now? So I'm just gonna hit done. And then now you're gonna go to this export thing. You want to configure and build font. So you can title your font. We'll call it stuffed. Put your name here as the author. And then um, you can have it to public, view only, or private. I always set mine to private. That way they aren't posted anywhere except where I want them to be and they still remain my property. So then I'm gonna build online. This usually does not take very long. And now I can install, I can download, open, copy. I'm gonna go ahead and just install. And then it's going to take me here. Do you wanna allow uh, this website to do this? Yes. Okay, done. So now I'm gonna go to my, so, oh my gosh, to my settings folder. It's gonna populate right here, profile downloaded. So then you're gonna to wanna to install. It's gonna ask for your passcode. And then install, install, done. So now I can go to say good notes, go to my text. And there it is. So now I can And that's it. How cute is that? Love it. So if you um, did not see, this font is going to be available as a free download um, on my website. The link to my website is of course always in the description. So you guys can play with this one, have some fun. It actually turned out really cute. I really like it. So that's it guys. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a DM for this one just because there are a few nuances that are uh, a little hard to just one off on YouTube. Um, things like uh, different font styles, changing glyphs. Um, there's, there's a lot more to this app. I just kind of basically gave you the, I wanna make a font, how do I start? And that is how you start. Um, and then all of your fonts that you create stay here. So um, say I installed that one, but I wanna install it on my phone or on my computer. I would go to download font and then you can save it to your cloud or your drive, Google Drive and then send it to wherever you want it to go. So as far as workability on the app, there are a few things that I wish worked a little better. Um, it automatically tries to give you the smoothest stroke possible. So let me come down here to a letter that we didn't do. I don't even know what this thing is. Um, and then I'll bring this down a little bit just so I can show you guys. If I say I wanted to do a line like that, see how it smoothed up the edge? It tries to smooth out your lines. Um, and then if you do something like way like this thing, it smooths which is good. I mean, it, it's definitely helpful, especially if this is your first time, but if you're trying to make something very specific and it's doing it, then it can be a little frustrating. That actually went better than I expected it to. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.